Okay, for this tech tip, we'll take you through the process of creating a new website in Squarespace and changing the domain name to a more bespoke solution, just so it's easier to remember it if you're accessing a demo site from another computer or if you need to pass it on to a client and get them to approve the layouts, it's much easier if there is a more bespoke domain name. It also looks better as well. So our first step is log into Squarespace. If you don't have an account already, you can create one as part of this process. So I'm gonna, I've already done that. So I'm gonna go to get started. I'm gonna to skip to the templates. And we've already had a tutorial as part of our masterclass series taking you through the process of selecting the right template for your business. So we're gonna just jump in. It doesn't matter what template we use at the moment. So I'm gonna select Mojave and we'll start with that. Press start and we're ready to go. It is as simple as that. You can see there's a notification at the bottom um, if you're a Squarespace Circle member, so you've already built a few Squarespace websites, you'll have a longer trial period, which is one of the perks of being a Circle member. You can, if you want to, just get rid of that notification and then you can see it switches to a publish option for the website. You can actually also close that as well to get rid of any notifications at the bottom and then when we go into preview mode, we see an exact reflection of how the website looks. Our final step before we start going in and removing pages and editing content is that we'll go to settings and domains, and we'll do a bit of housekeeping by changing the built-in domain. It gives you a randomly created domain name, which will go before squarespace.com. So here we can change it to whatever we want, providing that the name is available. So if I press rename, press confirm, if it's available, it'll create it. Otherwise it will send an error message and you just change it slightly differently. So once we've done that, we've now got our custom domain name .squarespace.com even when you link this up to your company's domain name or your, your, your specific website domain name, when you log into the admin area, it will switch to this domain name. So it's just a little bit of housekeeping that I like to, to carry out and I feel it makes a, um, a nice bit of difference and adds a bit of polish when you send this to a client.